sitting with Logan Paul. Logan, thank you for sitting down. How you doing? Thank you. Thank you for going to my house. Of course. Impulsive Studio. Yeah, it's the number one podcast in the world, man. What do you say? Like, subscribe, turn notifications everything, on. Everything, everything. Do ever support you know, are, Logan are Ball. Are you subscribed? I'm not subscribed. God damn. I'm not a maverick. Uh, what's going on, bro? Maybe I will be. You gotta be. After this? I want free merch. See, so I gotta convert you? Yes. That's no problem. I got right, you. Right. I got you on the merch. Can I get too. a free hoodie or what? Yeah, duh. All right. Yeah, You're the yeah, oldest you. maverick. No, you'd be surprised. <clears throat> old mavericks? I've had like, I've had 60-year-olds come and, and <laughs> they, pulled, they pulled the Superman on me. They'll be like, hey. And they'll look around, I'm like, what's, what's good? And they unbutton their shirt, and they're like, I'm a master. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. That's not a true story. I swear to God, Are yeah, you serious? Yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, dude, it's weird you caught me here. We were like in Venice Beach. And he's like, hey, I'm probably the oldest maverick ever. And he was. When yeah. he said it, yeah, it was true. But hey, man, how you well, doing? Hey, good to see you. Thanks. You've had a busy week this week. I, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. You had the slap for cash guy. With drama with yeah, him. Yeah, man. Hold up, we can get into that. Okay. You challenge YouTubers or any YouTuber to a race for $100,000. Yes. And your brother got engaged, didn't get engaged to Tana. I, that's a busy week for Logan busy, Paul. Busy, man. Just a that's lot a, of mental fucking bullshit. Can I swear on this? I swear away. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Is I, that a normal week in the week of Logan Paul? Honestly, yes. Yeah. Yes. The amount of times my like PR team or like my review guy, Jed, shout out Jed, have been like, well, it's never a dull moment. I'm like, yeah, I wish there was. Yeah. Say, I, there was once. It was, a, it was a Tuesday. What? Like there was a dull moment on a Tuesday. <laughs> one that time. was it. One yeah, time was it. in how many years? Ten years? Yeah. Yeah. But, the, I mean, the, the slap guy, I think the drama's pretty much squashed with that. It's, um, it's look, I, I, I think most people may, maybe saw the video. Mm -hmm. I knocked the dude out. It was in practice for me going to Russia to yep. enter the slap tournament, which, by the way, the Russians do, which... It says something about Russia, <laughs> but uh, he was supposed to, he was like the slap master in America because okay. no sane person is going to slap people and get slapped for a living, right? He, that was him. What kind of living can you make? That guy's got to be broke, right? Uh, yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah. He pay, he, he, he's got to have a real, like your job isn't being slapped. I don't know. He pays people to slap them. With what money? He, he'll pay people $2 okay. to slap Okay, okay. And uh, so we brought him here, and the idea was I slap him, and then he teaches me technique. Okay. But I knocked him out. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. so I was like, okay, I don't think I need much technique. And then, like, two weeks later, this last week, he came back. He's like, oh, the video was fake. If I didn't fall down, I wouldn't have gotten paid. We're it's like, hey, right. guy, we didn't pay you to come. Uh, we bought your flight to fly from Vegas to L.A. And so it was just another bullshit, like, um, attempt to expose Logan Paul that I didn't like because like after all the shit I've been through and like me trying to rebuild my brand and st stay true to who I am and be authentic and create the truest, most real content I can, it just really fucking frustrated me that this dude went out of his way to try and chase some clout. So I was going to box him and I think I still might. Um, dude, the guy can't last a round. He's so it, fast. It's, it's no, it's no, I don't know what he's thinking. He said he's, he could, uh, I think he used the verbiage, mop me up. Mop me up in the boxing ring. Now, if so. no one's, if people out here haven't boxed, I've trained for like ten years. Boxing, you don't, yeah. You I don't can tell you that. You don't understand how long three minutes is, especially if you're not in shape. Mm. Like he can't get in there with somebody who's trained for real. <clears throat> it's 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 what you just said. Sorry, I think I'm drowning. Do you know the action lick? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, go down from three gallons to two gallons. You can drown on a teaspoon of water. Can you really? And actually, yeah, I'm on the verge of, if you drink 13, I think it's 13 liters, you can literally drown yourself because- You can die too much Yeah, water. so I'm right on the cusp. All right, I like you. You're it. right, I need to chill. Stay but, hydrated. Um, you're right, man. Boxing is not a sport, and it's it's something I learned after I got into boxing. It's not a sport. You can just be like, I'm strong, I'm a big man, I can kick your ass. Like, if you don't know how to box, you are going to get whooped. It doesn't matter how big and strong you yeah. are. How much you can bench press. That literally 100% irrelevant. And I'm quick with it, bro. Like, I got moves. I'm slick. And I I can take a hit, but I yeah. also, like, don't get hit. I'm, I'm a ghost, bro. I disappear. You got the Floyd Mayweather head movement or what? Yeah, bro. Yeah. I'm, 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 like, one hand down type shit. <laughs> Just put the shoulder out. Yeah, yeah bro. I'll do it all. Like, <laughs> these uppercuts are slick. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah. So, he's not going to box. I bet he will. Okay. People do a lot of shit for But he'll clout, do that though. just for clout, right? You got to run into that all the time. It's like this guy is willing to be yeah. made a fool of to get physically hurt just for what, followers? Well, he was for the slap thing. Yeah. The slap thing. After I slapped him um, and knocked him out, after he was wandering around my house, like disoriented for an hour, uh -huh. I, I, I talked to him for like 20 minutes. He kept repeating himself. He didn't know where he was um, or who brought him here, but yeah. which by the way was like his best friend. 
and <clears throat> I felt horrible. And he's like, man, I don't want that video going out if you don't give me money. And so I ended up paying him because I felt bad that I'd taken a piece of his brain. Like literally, like I, the dude was no longer on planet Earth, and I was like, this is horrible. Uh, if I can like r remedy this in any way, and so I figured maybe a monetary payment would help him, which apparently did not, because he still fucking went back and said it. the video was fake afterwards. Well, so people, fuck you yeah, fuck him heavily. Well, people watching this don't care anymore because things no move cares. so fast. No cares. It's, it's old news. It's old next, news. My brother's it's engaged. On the next thing, yeah, Jake's engaged. Next, is this for real? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, it's the best publicity stunt ever, whether it's true or not. I, I'm at a, like, I, I have these internal battles with stuff like this, because, yes, I'm like, oh, publicity stunt, great. Fame recognition, great. But how many of these can you do before people just don't believe you anymore Good with point. anything you do? Like, you you become the boy who cried wolf. Jake Jake has, Jake called me once. Um, he, he he was in the hospital because he had some uh, something go wrong with his hand. And it was cellul cellulose? Okay. Does anyone know the... Any doctors here? Uh, what? Cellulitis. Cellulitis? Oh, nice. Apparently, <clears throat> if it gets bad enough, you can die. Okay. And so he called me, and he's like, yo, I, like, I broke my hand. And for 20 minutes, I'm like, hey, is this, are you fucking with me? Is this for a vlog? And so anything he says, no, I don't believe. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's tricky, man. Like, I don't know if it's real. Yeah. Okay, if, if so, hey, congratulations, Jake. You crazy kids. You crazy kids. <laughs> I'm a I'm a brother-in-law now. It's a tan. I'm a, I'm Could be scary. <laughs> no one can pronounce it. No her one name. can pronounce it. Not even Tana. She told me, and I just Mojo. Yeah, but it's that's not how it's spelled. I don't Manjo. Know. That's a phonetically tricky situation, I man. I gotta say, I, I've given up. What do you think about on on Tana? You've interviewed her. I've interviewed her a couple of times. <laughs> She, she's getting an MTV show. Your buddy Travis Mills, I was texting him today. Yes, yes. He's got an MTV show he's filming. Yeah. Lily Singh's got a late night show. Yes, yeah. Logan Paul, where the fuck is Logan Where's Paul? Where's my MTV show? Where's your MTV? I'm, like, I'm not going to lie. Do you get frustrated you don't get these? <clears throat> what more can I ask for? It's true. Being able to control my own content, yep. reach more people, and make more money. <clears throat> Where's the disconnect that these... Uh, social media creators are, are are either not seeing or there's a sense of validation that they feel like they might get from traditional media, which is I'm, I'm I would presume that is the situation. But like, yo, I'm 24. I don't need validation from traditional media media to tell me like my my stuff is good. Mm -hmm. You know, it's exciting. And by the way, I, I I reached out to all of them and I was like, hey, congrats. And Lily, I've known for a very long time, and uh, I think she's gonna do great great with that. Like. There's so much talent online, and if, if that's the, what she wants to do and the route she wants to pursue, who knows? Maybe maybe her talk show becomes the most successful talk show yeah. because of her online upbringing. Yeah, she's got a built-in fan base going there. Yeah. As soon as she flips on the switch, yeah. her fans come over, plus whoever's yep. around. Yep, yep, so yep. it's a good move for and her. And she's, she's just is she's talented. Funny. She knows what she's doing. She's funny, yeah. yeah. Very likable person. Where does that confidence come from? So you said, like, hey, I'm 24. I know my shit's good. But you've always been like that. If you go back to your Vine days, uh, is that true? Not like quite, when, you and, when you and Vine, Jake were doing your Vine thing, on camera at least it appeared that well, you were confident. And I, I always was. Okay. I, I, I've always been confident, and I always thought my shit was good, but it wasn't. It wasn't always good. You yeah. have, you'll have the gems in there where, like, uh, you get away from, like, the cringe Logan Paul. Like, the, the, some, some ones are, like, the split, splits video. Or, uh, man, it's crazy. I actually, like, literally forget all my... The counting songs. Videos. The numbers. The number song. <laughs> like, but but on that, how many views did that get? I got, like, 32 million. Just a song singing about numbers. So dude. who's the real dummy? Not you. Well, because that song specifically is, like, a troll. It's, like, yeah. it's, it's my way of sort of confirming to the world, like, this is the type of content you think that, like, I'm capable of doing but yeah. granted at the same time it's like a really good song and a really fucking awesome music video but sure. it's a song counting up to 30 it's ridiculous it's like whoa it's it's like a stupid creative type of mix that I, I, I like I like to like to troll people but do you grow out of that eventually do you go yeah because it, it, it's kind of got to make you jaded <clears throat> at some level where you go I can just put out shit and 30 million people will watch this and I'll make a ton of money. Yeah. But at some point, does that get like, what am I fucking doing? Do you, do you like, not if I do you want something more at some point? Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> or do you just say, oh, fuck it. I'll I do think the song. question you're asking, like the base of it is, is a, an evolution question. Like, yes, I always love to grow and adapt. That's like that, that above all might be the thing that I'm best at mm -hmm. just growing and adapting to different platforms. I mean, 
my uh, history alone uh, started on Vine. Then hopped to Instagram and Facebook. And by the way, I still have 16 million uh, likes on my page on Facebook, which is a lot of likes. Don't even use it now. <laughs> and then hopped to, to YouTube. And each one completely decimated everything in my path. Like now, now, now podcast. And I'm not quite there yet. This is a bit different of a format okay. that I'm still mastering. But I've just been um, blessed with the, I guess, curiosity and uh, passion mm-hmm. to conquer the thing that I'm doing. Sure. I love, I love being the best at the thing that I'm doing. Well, let me ask you this, right? So there's something special about you, obviously. Thank right? you. I'm not coming on to you or anything. But there's something, <laughs> you can't. Hey, really why not? It's LA. Let's get crazy. Yeah, bro. <laughs> uh, but there's something special because you're not the funniest guy in the world. Maybe you're not the Listen, best looking Tom, guy in I the fuck world. You, bro. I know, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> you're basically, you know, you're not. Yeah, it's but, you're right. But you've got something where you've Thanks, been successful man. everywhere you've went. And what is it? Uh, it's it's authenticity, man. Is that what it's, it is? Yeah, yeah. I've I've never uh, failed to be <clears throat> uh, real, sometimes too real, mm-hmm. and connect with my audience on a very relatable level. I'm a kid from Ohio. I don't have a chip on my shoulder. When I see fans in the street, it's it's not like, wow, thanks for watching my content. Really appreciate what you do. It's like. What's good? How are you? What'd you do today? Yeah. Like, how was your day? You said hi to the camera guys, everybody when yes, we walked everyone. in today. Yes, everyone. I always, yeah. always. I address everyone in the room. Yep. Um, that's important to me. And it always has been. And I think there's something, I think there's a kernel of extreme likability there that, that people just people just like to watch. And I ask myself this often. I'm like, how, so much of my life is on camera. I wonder how many people could put that much of their life on camera and people still enjoy them? I, no one. I, well, not no one. It's, it's not high. It's, it's not a high amount of people, but I have been blessed with a uh, decent personality that tends to translate well, whether it's on you know an hour-long podcast mm-hmm. or a vlog or a sit-down interview with you um, or a sketch. It, it, I think the word is translate it translates really really well and like whether it's a thing from like the universe or my parents whether it's genetic i am very fortunate for and i'm i try to be the best version of myself that i can be and yeah it's been working so far well i interviewed your brother too and he's got the same kind of thing and i met your dad at the old team you met you met greg paul greg paul shout out to greg paul at the old (laughs) team 10 house yes which was the strangest scene ever i went like on a sunday night and i just rang the doorbell and there was like 30 kids out front i go I'm here for Jake. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, we're, I'm like, are you, do you live here or something? They go, no, no, we're just hanging out. Hope we That's see a him. weird one. That's, that whole situation was weird, man. Like flashing back to those times in any capacity is so interesting to me because uh, I said this on a podcast recently. I looked back at, at some of my old videos and I, it's hard to believe that the person that's talking right now is the same person that was in that skin. Yeah. Like I, I'm literally like, oh my God, what a, what a persona what or uh like a figment of me that i pushed to the max yeah um how authentic was that was that logan paul at the time just turned up to the max yes, or was that just yeah. a character you're yeah, playing no it was authentic it was like, you at, at the, the time, time i was like a 21 22 year old kid who was like off camera still really fucking crazy and just outrageous and wanted to do fun things and then obviously when the camera was on, it was how can we get the most of that? Yeah. How can how can I squeeze my personality and give it all to this camera right now? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, back to the Jake thing. You guys both. So yeah, you're you're likable. You've got a talent. You're funny. You've got all these other things. Thank you're you. interested in things. Thank you. But there's something. There's a a work ethic that other YouTubers. I interview YouTubers all the time. There's like a drive and a vision with you guys that I don't think every YouTuber has. You know, a lot of YouTubers are like, I got a brand deal. You know, I don't want to post four videos this month. Maybe I'll just do two. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe I'll just do sugar bear hair on Instagram, just cash that check. You know, and don't have some vision for their brand. They're just like, okay, cool, I'll make 20 grand this month, I'm good. You're speaking my language, man. But you guys don't have that. We don't have that. That is the, uh, that is our secret. We have- That is your secret. We have figured out how to work so hard and gamify is we're playing a game and we love playing it and we work really hard is the game life or what's the game it's <laughs> you just well, keep, life just is killing of, well life? life is a game to me like i've always i use the analogy of like i i've always been like i feel like the puppeteer of my life if i put my mind to something or i want to do something and i redirect my energy towards that thing i can make it happen it's 
in a way, that's like a game. Yeah. And, and, and I like it to go a good challenge. So when it was, I want to be the best Vine star in the world, that was, that was the game. Like, how can we make this happen? And um, shout out to my dad for providing or giving us this uh, incredible work ethic. Like, it is, it is tough to outwork Jake and I, mm-hmm. and especially Jake. That kid goes hard as fuck. Even harder than you? I think so. Like, on, in what way? Uh, he, he, I, he works, I think, longer hours. Okay. Here's the issue. I work smarter. 10 times smarter and more efficient. Yeah. Like, and, and, and I think Jake can attest, like, the kid's got a killer work ethic, mm-hmm. but I'm really picky with how I strategize what I do and where I allocate my energy. And Jake's just like, here's me! <laughs> and everyone can have a piece of him. I mean... You know, you go over to his house, there's like 30, 40 people running around with their chickens with their head cut off. No yeah. offense, Team 10. But like, uh, Jake is Jake is definitely, he's got a lot on his plate and he handles it really well. Probably as well as a 22-year-old kid making millions of dollars can do. It's incredible. What would you do today? What's an average Logan today, Ball day? Yeah, to, what's, what's today look like? Today, today I... Today you uh, woke up? What'd you today do? Today I woke up, I worked out, I prepped for this interview, okay. and now we're here. How did you prep? Uh, well, they gave me a little, my, my PR team gave me a little sheet. Shout out to the PR team. <laughs> but I told them, I was like, yeah. hey guys, like, I feel like most of the stuff's going to be like off the cuff, probably just yeah. better if I answer it myself. And, uh, cause they're there wa- waiting for, for well, you to screw well, up. They're well, waiting. They always, that's, they're that's lur- I think what they're, they're here lurking. for. They're they, go, they, they go, they go, I think what they said was, it's more about what you don't say than what you, what you shouldn't say than what you should yeah. say. And that tends to be the case, right? Um. Yeah, they always have my back. But so you got the interview. What are you doing after this? This is a forty-five minutes. Thing. Yeah, then we. Uh, I got a studio session, and then today I think we are going to scout a, uh, a track and field location for an for the race. We're doing. Ooh. Which you've talked about. This is no secret, right? Yeah, lightly. It's kind of a secret. Well, you said it on Twitter. Yeah, but like the the, the tweet I put out that you're referring to is uh, I said I I'm the fastest YouTuber and I'm willing to put a hundred thousand dollars on it. Yeah. And uh, and I saw some responses. I saw my boy Chad Johnson in the mix. Yeah. Is he even tweet, a YouTuber? This tweet, no, but like I, I said YouTubers, it's for any entertainer and athlete or celebrity. Okay. Like it. But how are you going to hang with a professional athlete? Bruh. I mean, I know you're Logan Paul, no, Maverick. Bro, no, bro. <laughs> I'm quick. Yeah. I'm real quick. But what if you get some fitness guy who was fitness a track guy? star? But who was a track star or something Yo, in college? I mean, you know? I ran an 11.8 in the 100 meter dash Okay. when I was... 13. Okay. Which is quick. That's quick. Which is quick. I haven't done it, but man, I've just been dying to put on my spikes and sprint, man. <laughs> they got those new off-white spike shoes. Do they really? Yeah, they kind of look like spikes. I don't know if they're track, but they got like the blue insert it. picture That'd here. Say, hey, something to consider off-white. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, the, the tweet you're referring to is a bit more of a simplified version of it. Imagine an event. Is it going to be Logan Paul Olympics? Or no, what? no, no, okay. no, no. Uh, it's, can I, can I dive in? Can I give some details here? No one's saying no. We get some head nods. Right. Well, because I haven't officially like launched it yet. Okay. You might be. You might we, have a, a bit of an exclusive on this. We won't post until you tell us to. All right. All right. Uh, it's called the Challenger Games. So we are going to host different events. This particular one is track and field, where celebrities, athletes, influencers get together and see who is the best at X, Y, Z. So this next one's track. Who, which, who is the fastest? In uh, I think we have like eight or nine different events. The money goes to charity. It's going to be live streamed. Uh, cool. Huge audience. Probably like uh, we're going to try to get, I think this this stadium seats 11,000 people. So You'll fill that out. Maybe. I don't know. I just... I, YouTubers are competitive. Like when I when I said like I'm the fastest YouTuber, you saw the response. Everyone's like, no, I'm the fastest. Yeah. And by the way, like I think Olympic athletes were the ones who responded most. <laughs> Literally every Olympic yeah. athlete's like, fuck that kid. Yeah. Like, Usain oh, he's Bolt. Gonna, he's gonna eat my dust. That's right. Some dude named Sir Mo Farah. He's an Olympian, super fast. He's got he's got a decent amount of uh, followers on Twitter. But okay. Um, yeah, he a lot, a lot of positive reaction to it. Uh, so we're gonna just throw this huge event, see who's the fastest, provide some entertainment on a Saturday night, it's July twenty seventh. Okay. And yeah, the biggest athletes and celebrities and influencers in the world are just gonna be running and raising money for charity. It seems like a good idea to me. And uh, I, again, like I'm the fastest, so <laughs> good fucking luck. <laughs> What's it gonna be on YouTube? Obviously, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Um, yeah, can't call it just yet, but you'll you'll see the announcement shortly, and you'll see obviously as we confirm more and more. Uh, celebrities, influencers, athletes, creators, whatever, whatever you want to call them. 
Who Dude. who's your big competition? Who came out of the woodwork and you're like, uh oh. Well, I mean, okay, so besides Olympic athletes, Dr like legit entertainer. Drake Bell said he could run said he could run an 11 second hundred meter dash, which is crazy. Okay. So like. If that's true, that's that's a tough time to beat. My boy King Batch, I know he ran track in in, in college. Obviously Chad Ochocinco, but um, man, I want I want like OBJ to participate. Uh, I want that I want, would be huge. That'd be that'd be awesome. Sure. And, and, and uh, I'm gonna shoot him a text once everything's like actually fine. Just name drop and just shoot OBJ a text. No big deal. What's up? You don't have his number. <laughs> oh, you don't have his number. <laughs> yeah, you don't have his number. No. no, bro. Jake and I have been in the in this like circle for so long and. And although we're like YouTubers, we don't really like talk and act and think like YouTubers. Yeah. Like, without like sh stroking myself off like too, too aggressive, there's a reason I'm sitting in like a, a really big house is because I've optimized what I'm doing in the space and stayed true to myself while doing it. And it's, it's paid off and I've worked really hard doing it. Same with Jake. Like go visit any other YouTuber and just pick their brain about whatever and depending on how deep you want to get on uh, – monetizing an audience or, or gaining a fan base, whatever it is, it's, we've just gotten really good at it. And like I said, we don't think and talk and act like YouTubers. And right now that's the, the whole, not whole, that's the, um, the label mm -hmm. that is Jake and Logan Paul. But the, the, I don't see myself as just a YouTuber, Sure, you know, and, and How, what do you see yourself as? If someone says, Logan, what do you do? What's your answer? That's tough. I hate this question. You know how many times I... Do, you, do people ask you that all the time? Yeah, it's like oh. the typical L.A. question. Oh, right? You're okay. at a party. Oh, like, yeah. So what do you do? Yeah. Um, I literally sigh, by the way. I go, <sighs> a, lot, a lot. Yeah. I do a lot of things. I'm an like, entrepreneur? Well, how do I just, like, sort of, how You're do I describe entertainer? myself? Entertainer? How do I describe myself, Tom? I'm like, I'm an entertainer, I guess. That's my go-to. Yeah, if, if I'm like, if I don't want to talk, I'm an entertainer. Okay. But, you know, in that actor... Director, producer, writer, creative, entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneur, business owner, yeah, yeah, business owner. Like I don't fucking know, bro. Well, I'm just doing just my shit. On that, on the entrepreneur stuff, let's talk money, okay? You want to talk some money? I want to talk some money. All right, shit. have a have a drink of water. Now, not asking your personal finances or anything like that, but I interviewed a YouTuber, Maverick. Shout out to Maverick. I interviewed a YouTuber, and he was telling me what he sold in merch Thanksgiving. Weekend. Uh, we can the, say we the can Black say, Friday. The Black weekend. Friday. And you, we, I, who was it? I, I'm not going to say now. What do you mean? Did you already, it's, it's live? What? The interview you're talking about. Yeah, but this was off camera. He he didn't tell me on camera. I'll what tell he you made. on camera right fucking He now, said bro. he sold a million dollars worth of merch that weekend, and I almost fell out of my chair. Want me to blow your mind? Blow my mind. <laughs> blow my fucking mind. There it is. Woo, woo. <laughs> hey, shout out, Logan. I fucking love you guys. Um, <laughs> sent a text to my brother. After Thanksgiving weekend, and as you know, that's that's Black Friday, yep. Thanksgiving Day, Cyber Monday. Yep. Oh, okay. So busiest day, yeah. chopping weekend. I sent a text to my brother. <clears throat> uh, I was like, "Hey, Jake, want to hear something crazy?" He's like, "Yeah." I was like, three days ago, I sold a million dollars in merch in one day. In that one day, he's like, "No fucking way, dude!" I mean, a million dollars in one day. You're quiet. It is right now. Everybody's mind is blown. I go, oh, wait a second. I was like, yeah, bro. Like, he's like, you really made it. I was like, no, wait. You know what's even crazier? He's like, yeah. I was like, I did the same thing the next day. And then I was like, let me let me stop you there. I did the same thing the day after that. Bro, here I am. Even just this, I'm like getting kind of just like, my heart's beating fast just thinking about this. Some kid from Ohio who maybe wanted to be an engineer because he was told when he was young to go to college. And here I am. I just made $3 million in three days. It's so seemingly unrealistic and impossible. And this happened. I don't even know how to react to this. $3 million, Tom? What am I going to do with $3 million? I'm happy with a, a tree in my backyard to go play around with and make videos around when I was young. To be honest, you know, this is my first time here at the, what do you call it, the Logan Logan compound or the, whatever. We call it just the Maverick House. The Maverick yeah, House. Yeah. It's not anything crazy flashy. There's no Lambos out front. This is a G-Wagon. 
There's a G wagon and a Mercedes right Sprinter, but you could have Bugattis, and or you can you can get crazy. <laughs> yeah, I could have. Uh, I don't see I also, any jewelry. I don't see any crazy well, watches. So what do yeah, you? Yeah, I, I actually stay away from the jewelry, man. Like I, I'll do a little a pinky ring and like I have a Rolex, but what do you do with the three million bucks? I save it. I save it. I'll invest it. I'll do smart things with it. Like I'm not going to lose the house or any of my vehicles because I'm a like I said I'm a I'm, I, I play the game a bit smarter than most people. Like yes. I'm 24, and it would be sick to mob around in a Bugatti, man. Ladies looking at me, rev that engine, and, you know, my dick is huge. But also, like, fuck that, dude. Like, I'm good wearing a blue shirt, jeans, really white kicks, by the Very way. Very fresh Air Force These ones. These are real fresh. <laughs> and nothing, I, I didn't put the Rolly on for this interview because no. I'm not here to, like, flaunt myself. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I never, uh, I never have, have felt like I needed to do that. Maybe a time where I th wasn't really sure who I was, and I was like, yeah, I'm... I'm cool. I think when YouTubers wear a, an excessive amount of jewelry, it's a way to be like, I'm more than a YouTuber. I'm a mogul. <laughs> like, yeah. A cool, lot of them think, it, think it like Fucking that. Fucking cool, man. Yeah. But yeah, that was crazy, man. Three million bucks, three days. Crazy. So, your podcast, right? I read that you don't have any, or I heard you talk about it. I listened to the last couple episodes, and that's really why I wanted to sit down with you, is I was oh. really impressed by the podcast. As a guy who interviews people, I was really Thank impressed, because it's a different side of Logan Paul. I was used to the Logan yeah. Paul on your channel. It's like, yo, yeah, what's up, Logan? I was like, dude, like, shut up. Let's shut the fuck up. Yeah, Calm I, down, yeah, I get bro. it. Calm and on this one, I'm just like talking about whatever. And you got Mike to kind of be the asshole dickhead, so yes. that takes someone off your plate. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shout yeah, out to yeah. Mike. Shout out Mike. Um, uh, yeah, it's a de definitely a different side of me, which is why I like it. Because uh, most people have that preconceived notion of who I am. And will, by the way, like, how could you have any other notion about who I am? Yeah. So this was a cool way to kind of get into my mind and show people, even if it's on a minor scale, because a lot of people have seen my vlogs and there's like, a, we have a pretty, I don't want to say niche, but a pretty like selective, really uh, loyal audience and following mm -hmm. on, on the podcast. and. Is what's the demo? Is it older? It's or? A, it's eighteen to twenty four. I think we're about sixty percent males. Okay, is that the same demo from YouTube? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. it's the same people who yeah, came yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, but uh, it, it it does skew older. Like yeah. if, if I YouTube says eighteen to twenty four because that's like the generic age range they give. If I, if I had to guess, I'd probably say like twenty to thirty five. Okay. And by the way, the most random people ever will come up to you and say, "Hey." I love your podcast. I'm just like, whoa. Like, like you can, if you go to the... I'm at a mechanic's shop. Like, <laughs> that's interesting. If you them. go to the Grove, you can probably spot a Logan Paul fan. But can you... No. You, you can? No, no, you I think sorry. you would. I, I, I answered your question presuming you were going to ask, but you probably can't spot an impulsive fan. You're yeah, is right. that true? Yeah, no, you have no idea. You have no idea, which is cool to me. Yeah. Like, they're hiding in the woodwork, so they're out there. They're secret, like your 60-year-old fan. Yeah. Super but also, they, they're, they don't always feel the need to uh, take the picture. Like these are mature, uh, well-educated, inquisitive, curious human beings that aren't always like, yo, can we grab a flick? It's just, I, I get a lot of like, hey man, watch your podcast, love it, love it, love what you do, yeah. keep it up. And that's awesome to me, right? I, I take it, I appreciate it, I absorb it, and uh, carry on with my day. And yeah, that's cool to me. I think a lot of the, the people watching the podcast are people trying to better their lives or learn something. Yeah. Like how many people are willing to sit down and listen to you talk for an hour? And uh, that's cool. That's why I like the podcast space. It's a lot hey, of value. It seems like, because you're doing, I like your guest selection. It's kind of all over the place because you'll do like Summer Ray yeah, yeah, and Tana, yeah. but then you'll do like a Navy SEAL. Yeah, and we just or, had Eric Weinstein on yesterday. You know who that is? No, He's no. Like one of the top five smartest people in the world. Oh, no so, way. Yeah, so the, I mean, we are by far the most versatile podcast online. I have no doubt about that. I don't even think I can be like remotely contested. Uh, it, it seems like you have like a little Joe Rogan in you. Plus a little like TMZ kind of. It's everywhere. Dude. It's like, it's kind of all over the place. We skew. I'm a, I, I'm just a versa, versatile dude, um, and and blessed to be curious about things. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I've been able to just hop platform so well is because I'm like, okay, how can I uh, reverse engineer what's going on, what type of phenomenon is going on as far as like gaining followers and creating content goes on this platform, and I'm curious about how it works. And same with people. I'm curious how people tick. Mm -hmm. And the rule for my guests is like, I need to be somehow intrigued by them. Yeah. I need to, because it's really, I don't, we've had a few where you can imagine. Oh, yeah. I've interviewed a lot of people. You I just know. like don't care what they're saying. No. And it's nothing against them. It's just so far 
uh, removed from the thing that you're interested in. And like, I don't interview clean cut YouTubers anymore because they're so fucking boring. No matter yeah. how many followers they have, no matter how many views you'll get, yeah. it's just like they won't talk about anything interesting. You. And you know they're doing blow on a Saturday night and you know having fun no. and having interesting <laughs> experiences, but they'll never talk about. You it. are speaking my language. I some of the <laughs> some of the people we've had on are just so. Just walking the path and just doing their own thing, strutting without being dangerous, without curving a little bit. And I've said, I've learned, the people that I like the most on this are the ones with a little bit of edge or complexity or who have been through some shit or who have fucked up. It gives them a nice sprinkle that like... The relatable. Those, yeah, those straight edge people, and not always referring to like the actual traditional definition of straight edge, don't have all the time. Yep. And they're relatable and they're authentic, man, which is huge right now. Authenticity is so big. Yep. That's why like Tana Mojo, example, um, she's not like the cleanest creator ever. She literally talks about whatever the fuck she wants and does whatever she wants and people love it. Yep. When you are so authentically you, who's... Who's gonna tell you that you're doing something wrong? Yeah. Cardi B is a good example. She's so authentically her, man. Authenticity is so big right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's huge. Well, on your podcast too, you don't have any sponsors, and I was thinking no sponsors. If you want to sponsor me, reach out. Booking an impulsive <laughs> podcast. Now, do you care, or is it just kind of a vehicle? Do you look at it in YouTube too, where AdSense revenue, cool. It's, you know, it's a drop in the bucket of money that Logan Paul has. Like, it's whatever. It's nice. Or do you look at it as, I'm just kind of giving this away to sell merch or to sell what I've got going on? No, we don't even plug the merch anymore on this. You don't? We, we did for, like, the first 10 episodes. And, and not, like, uh, like what's the, the goal? time consciously. you got to sell something, right? Yeah, man, you're right. No, I, you, you, the question, I think, was, uh, do, do you like not having sponsors? No, no. It'd be, it'd be great to make some money off this, this podcast, which, by the way, gets more views than... Uh, pretty much every traditional TV show. Uh, and it's interesting because it is, we do have a window and a funnel, a funnel to a very captive audience. And I've specifically held out because I don't want to... I'm picky with my sponsors. And my, my co-hosts yell at me for this. And my producer yells at me for this. I'm very picky with my sponsors. Because if I'm going to say... If your name is going to leave my mouth, there ha again, me being authentic, there has to be some sort of truth or value that I actually see in you. What do you look for in a sponsor? Man. You, you think like supplements would be a natural thing for you uh, or something? Maybe. Yeah. I don't use them, but if I, if I did, I'd say, I'd be like, oh, these are. Um, like Rogan does all that on it stuff. Every second is on and on and on it. Yeah. And maybe by the way, this is like an ego or pride thing. Uh, and I might have to suck it up one day and like say, hey, go d buy this, even though I don't believe in it. Like we, we had a, a podcast the other day where we talked about uh, fast food sponsorships, dude. And I'll just, I'll never do fast food sponsorships. You don't like, eat it? You're not going to promote uh, it? It's not that I, do, I'll eat it maybe twice a year, but every time I do, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? And by the way, it's like 5 a.m. and I'm hammered. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, for, for, it just has to be right. It has to, ideally, I, I, I think there's a, a bit of value in, in honest value in the product. All right. When you were talking about how do you look at the podcast? Because you're saying before, I like to figure things out. I like to look yeah. at different media. Like, how did you look at the podcast? Like, audience-wise, demo, goals. So tough, man. How to put content together. Yeah. Like, how did you look at it? It's uh, it was it's tricky. It's like a puzzle, dude. And it's a game. You, it is a game. You again, you have to reverse. Like, are we stressing engineer. you out here? No, no, no. I just when I box in the morning. Yeah. I like. Do you work out? You work yeah. out. Yeah. You, do you work out in the morning or night? Always afternoon. I can I'm not a morning guy. Same. Okay. But like so, three, four o'clock. For some reason, I find myself working out in the morning, and then by the way, I'm exhausted mm -hmm. for the rest of the day. Yeah. Well, I'm working on it. Okay. But it's just when I have a window. So that's what you're seeing right now. I worked out. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> but we had to reverse engineer the podcast um, and figure out what about us makes us special. What makes people want to listen? When you have really funny guys like Theo Vaughn. And Chris D'Elia making really entertaining, funny podcasts. Or you have Joe Rogan. So much value in a Joe Rogan podcast. Mm -hmm. um, and so here's us, like, knowing we can provide a lot of value, knowing we can provide a lot of comedic entertainment. And so our niche is that we do both. You can, pretty much any podcast, you'll leave 
learning a couple new things, mm -hmm. sometimes like things that could change your life. But it's easy to watch because it's it, it appears snackable because you're not just being uh, hammered with like information that is like life beneficial type. It's it's easy to listen to. You know, you throw it on the car, and you know, an hour passes, and you've you've learned something new because you listen to impulsive. So we had a we had a we've had countless numbers of meetings about um, are we doing the right thing? Um, are we having the right guests? And we we finally a hundred episodes in. You've done 100 episodes already? I think we're on 93. How many do you do a week? Three. Okay, do you, do you tape them all on the same day? Uh, no, no. We, we, well, cause the, I mean, having a guest-based podcast is tough. Some of these bigger guests, it's just do like, it when they can. like, hey, I'm free tonight at 9 p.m. Like Tyron Woodley, yeah. when he came on like a week before his fight, he's like, yo, I'm free at 9.30 p.m. And it's 8.30, so yeah. rally the troops, here we are. Uh, who, who pays for all this, right? This studio in here is beautiful. I mean, who paid for all this? Who pays for... The video guys, the audio guys, who pays for the whole thing? This guy. This guy right here. Look at my pockets, bro. Yeah. My pockets. Hey, that's what I actually spend my money on. I kind of put it, not all of it, but I put a lot of it back into the business. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm, I think I'm all right. You're reinvesting in your business. Isn't that like business 101? Yeah. Well, You're not I, spending it all to watch, but you just spent $60,000 on a birthday party. So, so stupid, Tom. So stupid. So let's not pretend you're Warren Buffett here, okay? Let's calm so down. Let's I, calm I don't down. know what I was... It started off as a little idea where it's like, let's put sand in the backyard and make a beach. Okay. And then all of a sudden there's a DJ and a mechanical shark and a hula girls and 40K. And then, you know, after you get the invoice and you spent $60,000, that it's just not a healthy investment, man. The video did good though. <laughs> How many views? Five, five point two, I think. Uh, and it's age gated, so age gated videos are. What is an age gated video for us normal people? Uh, it's you have to be over eighteen, or your account ha says that you're over eighteen. Okay. To watch it, and YouTube doesn't put it in the recommended. So any anyone who's seeing it is either like word of mouth, like did you see this Logan Paul party video? Type okay. it in finding it because it won't pop up in your uh, what to watch next yeah. box, which is huge. That's that's how a lot of my videos, any YouTubers' videos, go viral. It's how did you figure all that stuff out for like end cards God, and what tags to use? I've been doing this shit, that bro. Stuff? Is that something just YouTubers know all that stuff? It's magic. Yeah, man? I've just been doing it, man, for so long. What advice do you have for new YouTubers out here? Because I'm sure all your young fans out there, that's kids' number. And I always ask, yeah. that's kids' number one career aspiration is to become a YouTuber. So interesting. Now you know that's the number one most, like factually, the number one yeah. most desired job. Yeah. They want to become a YouTuber? Yep, they want to be you. That's crazy to me. Bro. Why wouldn't they want to be? Seems like a good Because I never said once, I'm going to be a YouTuber. Well, it wasn't a I was thing. Like, I was videos. like, I love making videos. Yeah. So that's my advice. Don't try to become a YouTuber. Make dope videos. Mm -hmm. Make really good content. And YouTube happens to be a good, really, really good distribution platform. Mm -hmm. You said that you're not a creator anymore, or you don't want to be a creator. I did? Yeah, and I heard you say that in one of your podcasts. I was on a plane yesterday. Listen no, I don't to think him. I said that. You said... Did I say I don't want to be a YouTuber? You said you didn't want to be a YouTuber. Uh, you want to be a creator. Uh, you're right. So what does that mean? Uh, you done with YouTube? No. I don't think I'll ever be done with YouTube, per se. Um, it just... I have, I have goals and aspirations that are so big. And that pigeonhole of YouTuber. It's kind of a it, stigma. It, yeah, for sure it's a stigma. That's why, like, when I see, and no offense to any YouTubers who do this, like, YouTubers walking around wearing $20,000 worth of clothes. Like, my outfit right now probably costs, like, maybe $250 to $500. Okay. I think these jeans are expensive. Okay. But, <laughs> but and, these, and I often am not wearing like, expensive jeans, but when I see a YouTuber walking around with, like, $20,000, $30,000 outfit on, hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry i'm like yeah yo that's great but you walk into a party and in hollywood you're still a youtuber like no one really cares yeah. unless you're huge and still like no one really cares especially if like me you're constantly uh mixing with traditional hollywood like mm -hmm. i i love interacting with traditional hollywood actors athletes producers, actors directors yeah. athletes i love it and uh you but know? do they look at you like a YouTuber? Like, that's Logan the YouTuber? Or do you think you're beyond that now? They um, go, he's Logan the creator. I, I, I am fortunate enough. I, I, I think I've 
transcended that. Same with Jake. Even yeah. like J- Jake's circle is very. J- he was hanging out with Drake the other day. Like he was hanging out with Jake the other day. J- with Dr- Jake and Drake. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, and he Jake is really re- Jake. Uh, How badass is that? It's fucking awesome. Two kids from Ohio, you're hanging out fucking with the awesome. biggest rapper like, what in the do you, world. What do you do? At what point do you just start to try to stop comprehending what's happening yeah. and start living? Like, which is why also like maybe maybe that's why it's working for us because we're just, we treat people like people, no matter who you are. Jake and Drake, hey, boys. Yeah. Like they hang out, they're chilling, and uh, we we both have our our uh, circle of celebrities that we hang out with, and. I think it's just because we are that like relatable, down to earth type of type of person. What's What's Logan look like in the future? What does being a creator look like for you in five years? What are you creating? I don't know. That's a tough. You do, are you still into music? You're going overseas, right, to record? I am. I'm going to Sweden. Make I some do my music. homework, man. Yeah, 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 yeah man. It's uh, it's so funny because I hate I, every YouTuber. Eventually, is like. I'm gonna be a music star. Album drops Monday. And like, and here, and here's me. Doing that, like I'm, I'm following the path that so many YouTubers have done and tried and failed. Are you gonna be like doing the video where you let people behind you in line order your food? No. I mean, that's but also, like, that's but like also thing. maybe, yeah, maybe, sure. Because talking daily vlogs specifically, yeah, yeah. you can you can only do so much content. Yeah, yeah. So if you need a vlog for the day, like that'll work. Yeah, or like put Orbeez, Zorbies in your pool. Yeah. We've seen it, but also yeah. it gets views. So yeah. like, f- but are you like worried that it's, with the music thing, I'm kind of going down the same road? Um, no, and here's why. I've never been like I just have sort of iterated already. I've never been the person to to make that uh, half-assed leap, and the quality always ends up being something that a large portion of people can digest mm-hmm. and, and like a lot. And so, if I go to Sweden. And I make five songs, which I think is what we're going to try to bang out. In who? who two it's got to be some big producer, right? Is that why you're yeah, going? Man. Yeah, man, he's a big producer. Sweden, man. there's like a couple yeah, guys that are. Yeah, there's a couple guys. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and you're working with one of those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so like, if if I go there and the quality of the music is not good, I'm not going to release it. Yeah, I don't care. I will not release it until the shit slaps. I. I I have no. I'm not attached to any of my art or content that I've put time or effort into because I put time or effort into If it's not good, I will not put it out. No matter how long you spend I on it. I don't care. I do not, if I spent a year, and it's happened, by the way, on a project, I don't, don't want to say it, but it's happened where I put a lot of time and a lot of money into a project. I don't want it to see the light of the, the light of day if it's not good. And you, this is, again, this is your own money. This is Logan's money. No one's flying you to... I got no investors. No one's flying you over there. No one's paying for studio time. That's all you. It's all me, bro. And what's what's the goal? What's the end goal? To, to make your money back, or do you not look at it like? Uh, that? Do you I'm, look I, at I'll make money over here, and that'll pay for some of this? I, I don't and, think about money ever, ever, ever. Everybody does. Ever? Nope. It's fluid to me. It is. It is water. It comes and it goes. And you come on, Bruce it, Lee. It's, <laughs> it just be, be like water. Be like water. Uh, nah. Uh, sort of unhealthy, but also maybe not, because it's not the thing I'm chasing. Mm-hmm. It's uh, I I want to just make really good shit. Mm-hmm. No matter what it is, yeah, music, um, podcasts, vlogs, whatever it is, I want to make really good shit, yeah. and I, I believe that if you do that, and you aren't um, distracted by some sort of fiscal goal, mm-hmm. you're going to be successful. Yeah, and that's good advice for the kids. And the other thing I'll tell you, kids out there, is your attention to detail. Before mm-hmm. we started, Logan sitting down here doing an interview, does thousands of interviews. He clicked through the impulsive like lights yeah. lights here. To make sure and went through them and looked through the camera lens to see which one looked best. Sorry, I colored. Noticed yeah. that the TV was on in the background. My genius camera guys, no one saw that. I didn't notice it that the camera was on, but you noticed it. Nothing, nothing gets by me. So it's attention to detail. I, no, so yes, yes. I make I I'll make a mistake uh, as far as like production goes, like five, like between zero and five percent of the time. I am like, so many things go through my mind before we sit down. Well, you know, I mean, I, I could get into it, but I saw. Did did you guys adjust these lights before? Because I'm, I was sort of worried that it'd be too high on our heads because we're sitting so far forward. Okay. And maybe it is. Do we have shadows? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm I'm just hyper conscious of what's happening production wise. And that's good advice for your fans out there too. Yeah, well, what yeah. is it? Create good content. To make good shit, man. Make good shit. Make, make it be authentic. New slogan: Make good shit, be authentic. 
Unless you suck. I told this, uh... I, Yo, that's a good point, though. Unless you suck. That is a great point. It's, it's funny to think about, right? Everyone's like, it's so true. Be yourself. But what if, what if you, you suck? suck? What if you suck? And by the way, some people just fucking suck. And the, But who? no one tells them. <laughs> so they're making videos yeah, every day. They're yeah. going, I listened to Logan. I was yeah. authentic. Yeah. I made quality stuff. Yes. And I'm still not successful. And it's just like, yo, if you're like, like a cocky, arrogant, arrogant, unlikable prick, don't be yourself. Like, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. But and let's be real. Most people aren't entertaining. You go to a party and most people are a bore. Don't you think? Yes, but also, there's hope, kids. <laughs> not trying to bum you out, kids. I was, I was not entertaining in the slightest. Mm -hmm. Watch a video of me, there's one video that sticks out in my mind, uh, being interviewed for the high school wrestling state send-off. And they're like, I think I was 18, they're like, how do you feel? You're going to states, you know? And there's one kid every year, I got walked through the school, the band marched me through the school. And uh, it was me this year, and I'm, and I'm literally like, with my black eye from the, the <laughs> district meet, talking to the camera like, you know, like, just, I'm super pumped and mainly excited to go <laughs> and represent my school. And, and like, <laughs> and I'm watching this video. I'm like, how can that be the same kid? Yeah. It's lit. It's so cringe and not even entertaining in yeah. the slightest. So like, there's hope. Yeah. If you do this shit long enough. Yeah. And you're on a podcast every day and making vlogs, you can do it. Unless you suck. I'm back here again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all I got, brother. What else you promote? Man, we're doing a lot of stuff. I'd say just keep a keep an eye out for the Challenger games. Uh, obviously, subscribe to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world, and uh, keep an eye out for an elevated form of vlog video content that we're trying to do right now. We're aging up a bit, Tom. I like it. We're, we're getting old. Aging up. Uh, we're getting old. You're as old as me someday. I creak when I get out of bed. Yeah, morning. it's true. Yeah. Do you really? Sometimes. Sometimes after training hard. Yeah, my back. And like, yeah. Wait till you get my age, brother. You'll say, how old are you? 41. You look healthy, man. Oh, I appreciate you it, man. Really Thank healthy. you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what do we say at the end of this? You got to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Everything. Everything. This is your channel? This is my channel. Hey, great. I've got like, little, I've got subscribe. Elijah Dan, Daniel, little fag, who you What'd should you get too. That's his name. Elijah Daniel, little fag. He's the rapper who just bought Hell, Michigan and named it Gay Michigan. I you got to have him what's, on. What's the shtick here? He's a gay rapper. Oh, oh, okay, he just, okay. He bought a city okay. and turned it like gay in Michigan. He's oh, hilarious. And he's uh, got the number one hip hop album as of last week, ahead really? of Gucci Mane. Here's some tea. Give me some tea. I, I seen you've been tweeting away, asking people to ask questions. Follow me at Madrol1. Follow him. Follow me. Uh, and I you saw, don't even follow me, so how are you seeing I'm, this? I'm going to hit you after this. I like that. I appreciate you. it. I got you. Just chasing clout. Yeah, no, I got you, bro. I got, <laughs> I got you. you, bro. Now, now we're connected. I like it. I like so, it. So I saw that you had his interview after this, and I'm like, who's this guy? Yeah. I go to go to his page, and I think I blocked him. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? I think so. Yeah, so maybe, sorry. he talked shit. Maybe he said some shit about He Logan probably Paul. did, bro, and like, yeah. I, I was in a phase once where I'm just like, no more negativity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can just block all the haters, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. And like, he must have said some shit. You should, you should ask him. About okay, it. I will. But like in real life, dude, I'm so laid back. It just, yeah, eventually the, the cyber thing can get to you and, yeah. you know. How do you deal, I know we're kind of out, but how, how do you deal with all the hate? Like, I looked, I was watching your videos, and I, I interviewed Tana, like, I think the week after you did, and I always want to make sure I don't kind of steal stories or I steal okay, questions, so right. I always, like, do my homework. So I watch yours, I'm like, I don't want to do the same thing uh, Logan uh. did. And then I looked, Mike was kind of a dick to her and kind of slut-shamed her a little bit. The comments ag against, against Mike, Mike were fucking unbelievable. Yeah. And it's like... How do you deal with that? Mike probably hasn't had to deal with as much hate as you have. No, are you yeah. immune to it at this point? And like other people are coming up, like Mike have to kind of get yeah, fixed Yeah, um, I'm definitely immune to it. I think uh, here's, here's what I've learned in my 24 years. I'm like, here's your nugget of wisdom. Be like water. If be like water. If you see a comment online or through a screen mm -hmm. on a form of social media, may as well not even exist. It is Fugazi, it's Fugazi, it's nothing, it's a woozy, it's a wazi. It, it, because guess what? If you, if you put down your phone and you don't see it, mm -hmm. it has affected you zero. So even if you happen to see it, mm -hmm. it affects me zero. Because it, although, yes, a person commented it, you know how many people I have in real life coming up to me and telling me to like fuck off or like talking shit to me? None. Zero. Yeah. No, it's true. no, they're keyboard warriors to me, bro. And like, Yo, mad respect. If that gets you off and you feel like good commenting about someone online, go for it. But with me specifically, man, I, I've just seen it all. I've been through it all. 
And at this point, like... Who's got the most disliked video ever? Is it Jake or you? It's not me. I thought it's, it was Jake had it for a while. I think Jake does That's have it. It's pretty impressive though. And at some point, at some point, so much hate's gotta at be like, point is it I pissed so yeah. many people I was fucking awesome. Yeah. Well, it also provides a good uh, good route for, for redemption, you know? Um, I don't, like you said, man, I, I don't know any person that's been perfect their whole life and people love them for it. Like yeah. it's, it's in my eyes, you it's, cool. Around a little it's bit. cool to, to go through shit. And, and unfortunately the mistakes Jake and I make are going to be very public most of the time, e even if they're private, I'm sure they'll become public eventually. Mm -hmm. And so the, the idea has just been to, to grow and mature and minimize uh, risk. And we've done a really good job of that, by the way, the past like a uh, year or so. And shout out to the PR team, shout out to the PR team. Shout out to the But also, <laughs> y'all are great, but also, shout out to my fucking self, dude. I've gone through a lot of self-improvement and mental well-being health sessions. And I feel really good about myself. And on that note, see you guys.